Hi everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space and this is Dinagar. So today in this video, what we are going to see is like using Blue Prism, how do we retrieve the worksheet names from an Excel workbook. In case if your Excel uh, holds or contains more Excel uh, worksheets, so how do you retrieve those names and uh, make your business process verify like whether this worksheet exists or not, right? So those kind of things can be achieved. So basically to retrieve all the worksheet names from Excel, irrespective of number of uh, sheets, right? So to do that, what are steps required? So you have to use create instance and then open workbook pass the page of the Excel file path. And then you, you will be able to see get worksheet name as an action and then that will produce a collection as an output. And then you have to pass like uh, uh, your uh, output collections to wherever you want and business flow to in case if you want to validate it and then close all instances. So to perform all these actions, you basically need MS Excel BBO as an object and that will help you to perform all these actions, right? So in case if you wonder how the same Excel worksheet, uh, get Excel worksheet happens in uh, UiPath and uh, uh, other tools like Power Automate and UiPath, I've already posted the same similar video with uh, uh, channel so i've just gave a card for you as well so you can just uh, explore and uh, get to know that as well right so without getting delayed let's uh, get into the practical sessions how do we perform the same thing right so you have to go to your process and uh, just double click it and find ms excel bbo which is an object and under that you have to use like create instance so as soon as you give create instance, right? So it will produce an output and that will be handle. So just store that handle out there. And uh, once you create an handle, right? The next step will be like open workbook, the, the Excel file from which we want to read the sheet names, right? So to perform that, you want to use Excel work, open Excel workbook, which is under open workbook, right? So you had to pass the number handle and the file name. So since I I know the I know where the file path is placed, so I just had to go to that uh, particular location and then uh, each shift right click will have a copy as path as an option. So just come back here and paste it, which will produce you a output of workbook name, right? So just keep this, and now we. Opened our workbook. Now our, our main 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 intention is to read uh, uh, our worksheet names, right? So just go ahead and pick the same Excel workbook video, and then use like uh, get get worksheets. Uh, you will be able to see get worksheet name. So it'll ask you input, which is nothing but a handle and workbook names, which we already have output from uh, open workbook. This will produce a collection of worksheet names. So this is what we exactly needed. And for a smooth uh, best practices thing, what you had to do, just go ahead and use like uh, MS Excel VBU to close that out. I right, just MS Excel VBU and then use close all instances. Right. So once you use that, you can be able to connect it with the end and just give a run and see how this performs. It should hold the value in this collection for all the Excel worksheets. Right. So before that, we'll go to that uh, worksheet and see what all the list of sheet names available in the workbook. And then we'll validate whether the same thing is getting populated everywhere. You can see Jan to Pip and including expense, expense by summary, you'll be able to see 12 sheets, right? So go back to our blue prism and just like set the stage to run. So it's creating an instance, opening in workbook, and get worksheet as an instance and closing all the workbook, which is already open. So you can go ahead and see, right? So all the worksheet names, which is listed over here. Based on that, you can drop a decisions and uh, like perform if you want to perform any business rules out of those worksheet names. So that's it. I just wanted to show in this session and thanks for watching. For more uh, similar related videos, please stay tuned. And if you want to compare with other tools like Power Automate and UiPath, you can just refer our channel. We do have the same exercises being dropped with different other RPA tools as well. Thank you. Have a nice day.